Today we will discuss the pressurization system. The system consists of two cabin pressure controllers. One residual pressure control unit. One outflow valve, which can be operated by three motors, two for automatic operation, one for manual operation. One control panel and two safety valves. The A320 pressurization system works in automatic and manual modes to fully control the pressurization cycle. The cabin pressurization system has four general functions. Ground function. It fully opens the outflow valve on ground. Pre-pressurization. During takeoff, increases cabin pressure to avoid a surge in cabin pressure during rotation. Pressurization in flight, adjusts cabin altitude, and rate of change to provide passengers with a comfortable flight. And depressurization. Which gradually releases residual cabin overpressure after touchdown. The maximum normal cabin altitude is 8,000 feet. If the cabin altitude exceeds 9,550 feet, the excess cabin altitude master warning is generated. Now let us look at the operations of these components. Firstly the cabin pressure controllers. Two identical, independent, digital controllers automatically control the system, by maintaining the proper cabin pressure. They receive signals from the ADERS, FMGC, the engine interface unit, and the landing gear control interface unit. The controllers also generate signals for the ECAM. In the automatic mode only one controller is active at any time. The other is on standby. The system does an automatic switchover between CPC-1 and CPC-2, 70 seconds after a landing. Or if a CPC fails. Next we study the outflow valve. The outflow valve is on the right-hand side of fuselage, behind the aft cargo compartment and below the flotation line. The actuator contains the drives of the two automatic motors and the manual motor. Either of two automatic motors operates the valve in automatic mode, and the manual motor operates it in manual mode. Two independent pneumatic safety valves prevent cabin pressure from going too high. 8.6 psi above ambient, or too low, 1 psi below ambient. They are located on the rear pressure bulkhead, above the flotation line. The residual pressure control unit is an optional installation on the aircraft. It automatically depressurizes the aircraft in case of abnormal residual pressure on ground. In the automatic mode, the CPC control the pressurization through the following six modes. Ground mode. The outflow valve completely opens before takeoff, and 55 seconds after landing at a cabin VS of 500 feet per minute. This releases any residual pressure inside the cabin. Takeoff. To avoid a pressure surge at rotation, the controller pre-pressurizes the aircraft at a rate of 400 feet slash min, until the delta P reaches 0.1 psi. At liftoff, the controller initiates the climb phase. In the climb phase, the cabin altitude varies according to a fixed pre-programmed law that takes into account the aircraft's actual rate of climb. During cruise, the controller maintains cabin altitude at the level off value, or at the landing field elevation whichever is higher, but the cabin altitude target is limited to a maximum of 8,000 feet. During descent, the controller maintains a cabin rate of descent, such that the cabin pressure is equal to the landing field pressure plus 0.1 psi, shortly before landing. The maximum descent rate is 750 feet per minute. Finally in the abort mode, if the aircraft does not climb after takeoff, the abort mode prevents the cabin altitude from climbing. Cabin pressure is set back to the takeoff altitude plus 0.1 psi. This mode is applicable in case of immediate return back after airborne. Now let us look at the manual mode. The manual mode is automatically selected when both the CPC fail. It can also be physically selected on from the mode selector push button on the pressurization panel. In the manual mode the outflow valve is controlled from the manual motor via the MAN VS control switch. To prepare the aircraft for ditching, the flight crew must press the ditching push button on the cabin press control panel to close all valves below the flotation line. They are The outflow valve, 
the emergency ram air inlet, the avionics ventilation inlet and extract valves, the pack flow control valves, and the forward cargo outlet isolation valve. Now we will look at the indications on the ECAM cabin pressure page. This here shows that the landing elevation selector is in the auto mode. The landing elevation of the destination is captured from the FMGC database. This indication is for the delta P, the cabin vertical speed, and the present cabin altitude. This indication show that the CPC-1 system is active right now. The avionics inlet and extract valves are shown open. The outflow valve is fully open. And the safety valves are closed in the normal position. The two packs are supplying the air normally for pressurization to work. The ECAM cruise page displays some of this same information in an abbreviated form. It shows the landing elevation and the landing elevation mode. Delta P. Cabin vertical speed and cabin altitude. And that is all about the A320 pressurization system. We hope you liked this video. Please do like and subscribe. Goodbye.